Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to create convert kids subscriber from Facebook lead ads. Now, let's say that you're promoting your business using Facebook lead ads and here your objective is every time you receive a new lead, then you want to add this new lead as a subscriber in ConvertKit, which is an email marketing platform. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate Facebook lead ads with ConvertKit and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be Facebook lead ads and my action application will be ConvertKit. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. Now let's start with the step-by-step -step process. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, then you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to test all these automations. Now, once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this and this dialog box has appeared where you have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. Now here I'm going to name this workflow as per my objective, which is to create convert kit subscriber from Facebook lead ads. Now I'm going to click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says, do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get a notification on SMS. How does that happen? With the help of automation. In such a case, your trigger will be the payment gateway and your action application can be any application with which you can send this SMS. Now let's come to our use case. So here the trigger application will be Facebook lead ads. Next is the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make your workflow run and here it will be new lead instant. So this workflow is going to run as soon as you receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads. Now here I'm going to click on connect. As we do that here, Pabli Connect wants to connect with Facebook lead ads account. I'm going to select add new connection since we are setting up this connection for the first time. Now let's click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Now I have already logged into my Facebook account. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now once Facebook lead ads and Pabli Connect are connected, now here we have to enter the page and the lead generation form associated with that particular page. Now to understand this, let me take you to my Facebook account. Let's go to pages and here you can see I have already created a lot of pages. Now, let's say that I'm promoting my business, which is Ayush Herbal Store. So here I'm going to select Ayush Herbal Store. Here it is. And since there is only one lead generation form associated with this particular page. So here you can see that the system has automatically selected the page. Now, once this is done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we can see it is waiting for webhook response. Basically, what we have to do is we have to do a test submission. So basically, we have to submit a test lead to see if the data is getting recorded here in the webhook response to understand if Pabli Connect and Facebook lead ads are connected. Now to do this, I'm going to take you to Meta for Developers page. And here we have to use this tool to test our API or CRM integration, basically to see if the test lead that we have created is received properly or not. Now here I'm going to select the page. So as I take you down here, we have Ayush Herbal Store. And now you can see that the form is captured here. Let's click on preview form. Let's say the full name is smart person. Then we have the phone number, which is, then we have the email address, which is smart person at pablitudes.com and now I'm going to click on next and submit. As we do that, we can see that our form has been submitted. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to see if we have received the response here. And yes, our webhook response has been captured. This here is the full name. Then we have the phone number, email address. This here is the created date and time. Now, once we have received this information, 
with this information that we have received. I want to create a subscriber in ConvertKit. So my action application is going to be ConvertKit. Let's click on this. Now the action event here will be to add subscriber to a form. So I have selected this. Click on connect. And now here Pavli Connect wants to connect with ConvertKit account. So again, since I'm setting up this connection for the first time, I have selected add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need the API key and API secret. So I have already logged into my ConvertKit account. And now after login, it is asking me to go to the account setting. So I can directly go with this hyperlink here. And now as I take you down here, we have advanced. Within advanced, we have affiliate link, API credentials, etc. And here we have our API key. So I'm going to quickly copy this, go back to Pavli Connect, and here I'm going to paste the same. Next, we need the API secret. So here is the API secret. I'm going to copy this as well, go back to Pavli Connect, and paste the same here. Now I'm going to click on Save to set up this connection. And as we do that, here we can see that Pavli Connect and ConvertKit are now connected. Once this connection is set, now here we have to select the form. Before I show you this, now I'm going to take you to my ConvertKit account. Let's go to Grow and Landing Pages and Forms. So here we can see that I have created a few forms here and here I'm going to use the subscriber form. So here we have the email address and the first name. Now let's say if you wish to add more fields here, you can always add the fields, edit this, change template, etc. Now I'm going to take you back to Pavli Connect. Here I'm going to select subscriber form. So now here we have to enter the first name and the email address. Now here in the previous response, we have received the complete name. So what I can do here is I can split this name using a feature by Pabli, which is text formatter. Let's click on this and the action event here can be split text. Now here I'm going to click on connect. And as we do that, here we have the text to split. So I'm going to Click on this. You can see the previous step here. So I'm going to click on this and this here is the full name. This name is supposed to be split. Now this method with which I've added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time your workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Let's say that I had written this name manually. Then even when this workflow was running in real time and it would have received a new response, it wouldn't have taken that. Instead, it would have only taken this name which was written manually because then, that because then this would have become static information. So to avoid that, we map the information. So basically what you have to understand is when there is an information which is supposed to keep on changing, that information becomes dynamic and we are supposed to map it. And if there is an information which is not going to change, so that information is static and we can just write that manually. Next here we have the separator. So the separator is going to be the space between them. So here, how am I going to write this? Double curly braces and then write space. So it is also mentioned here in the help text. Now which segment do I want? I want the first segment, the first name. So here I have selected first, click on save and send test request. And here we can see we have received the first name. Now I'm going to quickly set up this connection once again using the existing connection. And now here, I'm going to enter the first name by going to step two. And this here is the first name. So then we have the email address. Let's go to step one. This here is the email address. Then if you wish to add any tag, you can always do that. So I'm going to add this general tag. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we have received the response. So what have we received? The subscription ID, but the subscription state is shown as inactive. So here a mail must be sent to the person to confirm the subscription. So now I'm going to take you to the email address of the person and let's go to inbox. And here we can see we have received an email. So here is the email. Now I'm going to click on confirm subscription and we can see that the subscription has been confirmed. And now I'm going to take you back to convert kit. Let's go to subscribers. And here as I take you down, so you can see smart person at pavlitudes.com. This is the first name. So basically, our integration here is a complete success because this particular person has been added as a subscriber here in ConvertKit. Now let's check if this integration works in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Metaphor Developers page. 
and here I'm going to first of all delete the previous lead and once you have deleted the lead it is always important to refresh the page now here I'm going to select the page which was Ayush Herbal Store and here I'm going to click on preview form now here let's say the full name so the name is new dear and then the phone number here is and here we have the email address of the person which is new dear at pabli tutes.com now i'm going to click on next and submit now as soon as this form has been submitted first of all what should happen i should receive an email for the confirmation of the subscription let's go and check the same so i'm going to take you back to inbox and yes here you can see we have received another email this has been marked to new and now i'm going to click on confirm your subscription and once this is done let me take you to convert kit here i'm going to quickly go back to subscribers and let's go to net new subscribers and here you can see new deal at pablitudes.com this particular person has been added here so this means our integration is on point now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where our trigger was facebook lead ads the event was new lead instant then to split the name we had chosen a feature by pabli which was text for matter and final action application was convert kit where we had to add a subscriber to a form i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com connect to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.